Our response poem is, The three teenagers come together for the regular meeting of Androphobics Anonymous. Welcome. I guess we can get started. Hi, I'm Gabby. Hi, Hi Gabby. Gabby. Hey, I'm Zanina. Hey, Zanina. Hello, I'm Sam. Hi, Hi Sam. Sam. Tell us your story. I went through at least three outfits this morning and applied my red lipstick. I pushed my boobs up in my bra because, because it's, it's harder, harder to, to feel good when you think you don't look it. My lip balm felt too feminine, so my lips are still chapped, and I decided not to wear a bra, so I have no boobs to look at. It's easier to appreciate what you're wearing than actually appreciate what your body looks like. I was in first period, and he was telling rape jokes in the seat next to mine. I've known him since the second grade. The memory of that innocent, pure boy I used to play handball and hopscotch on the playground on the blacktop. Now I sit here and wonder what, what happened, happened to him? him. I didn't feel this fear around him before. The coldness running down my spine. The discomfort in my neck. Somewhere between the cute crayon drawings and the internet porn. A pervert was born. So, so now, now we, we keep, keep our heads high when walking past a guy and stare deep into their eyes that burn back, showing no signs of weakness. I was walking to class and I couldn't decide if I want men to look at me or if I want to be the man that everyone is looking at. How do they think of me? Do they think of me like they do any other girl in the hallway? Or do their eyes linger a little too long on my flat ass? Men always! Tell me to be more quiet. And I'm tired of not being able to talk in class because the gossip behind my back. I, I did, did that thing again. again. I'm talking to Mr. Heredia and I make my voice a little bit higher and I act more feminine. So the guys in the back of the class won't call me a butch ass lesbian. I was at the library where I, I have, have study dates, dates with my friends. friends. I remember he almost looked like Hagrid. Tall, bulky jackets, he lingered at. My library, my parking spot. My brother's car. Unknown, unknown to myself when I'm faced with, with an unknown man. man. The only thing I know now is that I am a woman. No, I am a teenager. Don't, don't turn your head, don't smile. Don't make eye contact. Listen, Listen. this is not a me 